and this summer please use deodorant please use deodorant I'm, I don't want to smell you from the other side of the road use deodorant use perfume if you can't afford perfumes that's okay deodorants will do fine body sprays body mist they're so inexpensive in Primark or pennies whichever one in your pharmacies in your perfume shops like you know do something about it please save our nose and save our Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Okay, I think at this point I should actually have an intro song, like a proper welcoming song, you know, like when you usher the bride in. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm, living, I'm literally reliving my childhood. <laughs> Anyways, guys, welcome to my channel. So, um, I have something really important to say to you guys. Um, it's my new foundation. It's called uh, Save a Nose a Day Foundation. Yes. And also Save Our Eyes Foundation. I'm going to explain. Let's get into it. Yes, Save a Nose a Day Foundation. It's really about saving our noses. Like, how dare you have seven in the morning, get on the bus, and be stinking? Like, how can you be smelling at that time of the day? Like, I don't understand. It's different if, you know, like, you're not you're not able to get access to these things. Like, I mean, I understand some people, you know, they're homeless or some people sometimes, which is a rare case, the water or the pump in your house may not be working. But, um, baby wipes are a wonder of a pack. So I don't understand why you're dressed in a gorgeous suit, you know, dressed to kill. Pretty lady, good looking man, going to work in the morning, and you are stinking. How dare you? You get on the bus, the, the windows have to be open on the bus because you are stinking. Why? I don't understand. Or 7.30 in the morning and you know, you see someone on the bus like, oh, hello, hey, you know, like familiar faces. And they're like, You can't even breathe because the odor just knocks you out. Like, I don't understand how people believe that they can shower the night before and not even freshen up in important places like your Pittsburgh and your down south, not freshen up there. Like, I mean, take a quick shower or something and feel like it's okay. You know, when bacteria settle somewhere, oh, they let you know that they're there. They partake, okay? Like, it's disgusting. Or someone who like brushes their teeth the night before and believes that they don't have to brush their teeth in the morning. And they get on the bus and they're like, hello, and you're like, mm. you get me? And they're dressed in a nice suit and they look good. A nice, expensive looking tailored suit. And you're smelling. How dare you? Anyways, to be honest, like, one thing I have to just say is take care of your body this summer. Like, Take, I mean, body odor is not pleasant, especially when it's hot and humid. You know, it really, really, it hits your eyes and your nose at the same time. Like, have you ever been in a place and it just smells so bad that your, like, your ears just start to tingle and your nose starts to water and your eyes are just so screaming for help? Like someone has cut onions around you. Yeah, literally. Like, I don't understand. I don't get you. That can be easily cured with lemon. Literally, like, just cut lemon in half, soak in the hot water, squeeze a bit of the juice out, right? Let it cool down to your preferred shower temperature, shower water temperature. And just use it and just rinse down there. It's equivalent to literally drinking a glass of cranberry juice or eating a portion of pineapple. You know? Keep it, especially ladies, like, down there, oh my God, there's nothing more unpleasant than getting into a room and sitting down smell someone else's lady parts from across the room it's not very pleasant it's not nice and the thing is just try and keep the hairs out of the you know the pubes keep them away this summer we don't need them this summer no they're gonna they're literally enemies of progress you don't need them this summer if you don't like shaving or you get bumps from shaving you don't like waxing I mean there's waxing okay there is 
There is hair removal cream, which is what I use. It's painless, it's effortless. It just takes two to five minutes, depending on how tough the hair is. And it falls off. You just shower and come back. Okay, like, save our eyes foundation, please. If you know that you have dry skin, even if you're not sure, use some moisturizer. If you cannot afford moisturizer, there's olive oil. If you don't like olive oil, extra virgin, you can you can use coconut oil. If you don't like coconut oil, you can use shea butter. If you don't like shea butter, you can use palm oil. If you don't like palm oil, you can use Vaseline. Whatever it is, just use it. I'm sick and tired of people looking so ashy. Like, they're so ashy that it looks like they literally took a bath in chalk, white chalk. Like, they're so ashy that you can scrape the ashiness off it and you think it's gary so ashy that it looks like they have dandruff on their body please please moisturize like if you have a skin condition like um you know psoriasis or something that's okay you know the ointment for this you know like that's fine it's a medical condition but if you have nothing wrong with you and you're just lazy and don't want to moisturize your skin please if you don't care about care about us, the viewers, please moisturize between your hands, moisturize your knees, moisturize your whole body. There's emulsifying lotion. There's emulsifying uh, uh, emollient creams. Okay, they're literally so inexpensive for a big tub from Boots Pharmacy or any other pharmacy close to you. You can even get your doctor to prescribe it. Okay. <laughs> This is what people think, this is what your friends think, they don't want to tell you. If you notice that when, when people hug you, they make a face, if you notice that people don't really want to hug you that much, it could be a sign that you know, you've got a little situation. It's fine. And also, there's some people as well that have um, extreme sweating conditions. They do have medicated deodorants for that. They actually with the same price as normal deodorants and they're in the local they're in your local pharmacy. Either you ask your pharmacist or ask your doctor to prescribe it. Like we have Mitchum. Mitchum is the one that I know that's for sure. And then please use antiperspirant, use antibacterial or antiseptic. Yes. And literally use, you know, just something just to mask it. I'm sorry if you caught feelings by this, I apologize, but I just have to say the truth. I go through this every single summer. It's just it's just from the general public, okay? This is what's up. I'm gonna love you and love you. And be your own type of beautiful. Yes, be. Okay. Alright. Okay. Mm-hmm.